But first, a jury finds this woman guilty of killing her husband and burying him in a garden in their backyard. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Brenda McLaughlin. Now at 6, a woman's family is shocked after a jury finds her guilty of shooting and killing her husband in Polk County. Tonight, Barbara Scott is beginning her life sentence. Our Jacqueline Iglesias is live outside the courthouse with the latest on today's verdict. Jacqueline. Right now, family members of this wife and mother are not talking. They certainly were not expecting this outcome here at court today. Many of them leaving in disbelief. Her quivering lower lip said it all. 66-year-old Barbara Scott was not expecting a jury to find her guilty of first-degree murder. Very calculating decisions that she made for the purpose of avoiding the consequences of her initial choice to kill Ben. Prosecutors argued Scott shot and killed her 78-year-old husband, Benny, back in 2012, then tried covering up the crime by burying him in the herb garden in the backyard of their Lake Alfred home. Her motive, according to prosecutors, Scott was sick of being her husband's full-time caretaker. It's time for Ben to be out of the picture. Scott's attorney never denied she buried Benny, just that she did so because her husband committed suicide and she panicked. So when Barbara Scott found him dead in their bathroom, she didn't know how to tell anybody. She cried and she held him. Jurors still struggle to understand why Scott did not just call 911 from the very beginning. And why she kept making up stories about Benny's whereabouts in the months following his death. She didn't want to tell his friends who he just saw that she wasn't doing her job well enough. Defense attorneys finally tried to convince jurors that Scott's burial of her husband was not a sign of guilt. She did not act appropriate to our society. Every society deals with death differently. The jury found Scott guilty in just 90 minutes and the judge handed down a life sentence. Scott now has 90 days to file an appeal. Her attorney is not commenting. Live in Polk County, Jacqueline Inglis, ABC Action News. Thank you, Jacqueline.